Sugarbuckets, welcome back to the channel for a brand new speed build. So today, you guys, we are creating a 1970s inspired family home. Oh, I'm so excited. I always say that like all the time. Like, girl, are you really excited? Or is that just something that flops out of your big old fat mouth? Honestly, I am excited every time I build. I'm literally excited. It's becoming like my zen. The things that I do when I'm stressed or the things that I do when I need it to just like zone the F out. And so lately, I have been creating a lot of tiny homes. I don't know if you guys have noticed, but I've been having so much fun creating little tiny micro homes and cluttering them up and utilizing all that small space. To be honest, when you give Jen a big old box, I start to kind of <laughs> kick rocks. Like I get hot flashes. I don't know what to do with all of that. And uh, I wanted to create something that was just a little bit different this time around when it comes to like family homes. So I decided to go and start looking up like decade themed houses, like 90s, 70s, 60s, whatever. Um, and I I really liked the 1970s era like I loved the very square boxy vibe um, I don't know how to explain it also I'm not gonna lie like what drew me in what literally sucked the soul out of my existence was the fact that 1970s was pretty brown <laughs> and there was like pops of color in there a lot of orange um, which I typically don't really like together uh, but it was something that I knew that I could create and love at the end of the day and I'm just I've given into it I've given into the fact that I am literally like just a neutral a neutral person like I just I don't I, I I will branch out and do more modern stuff maybe possibly um in the future but like I'm working with the skill set that I have and apparently creating Tootsie Roll homes is just right up my alley it's my forte it's my feng shui so anyway <laughs> getting a little weird here um we are almost done with the exterior now this home was very interesting because I had to create a garage right and I don't know if you guys haven't noticed but um we don't really have garages in the sims 4 and also shut Shutters. Shutters are the most annoying damn thing that I have ever had the pleasure of dealing with. Why the hell do we have a million, okay, a million roof decorations, a million um, random ex exterior accessories, but we don't have shutters? Please, will somebody explain to me why the freaking hell don't we have shutters? Like, I'm literally baffled right now, and I don't mean to, like, sound pissy or moany, but, like, really? We don't have shutters like it just doesn't make sense you know how many things that we could like build with shutters or like how many cool ways that we can make windows just look different by having that little tiny accessory i don't know long story short it pisses me the hell off and it pissed me off because it was really screwing with my layout okay and that's why i'm so freaking perplexed right now and so if you see my windows are a little janky like my bottom teeth don't get it don't get it twisted sister i do fix those a little bit later so here we are with the layout it is coming all together when you have these very like a tubular kind of like like a shotgun ranch style I have no idea what I'm saying type of homes um it can get a little tricky when it comes to the layout but I swear to you I swear to you this home was just meant to be uh, I was able to fit three bedrooms in this bad boy and a garage where you could obviously put in like a little gym um you can put in your odds and ends and again I really wanted this home to feel super duper realistic like I wanted it to feel like a family home and if you guys ever come to my house which <laughs> If you did, uh, <laughs> well, you would see exactly what I'm talking about when I say it literally looks like a hurricane went through it. I mean, I've got two kids, you know, uh, life is chaotic. It's just, it's nuts. And so I wanted to kind of give an essence of chaos within the home. I didn't do it too bad. Like I didn't go um, super crazy with the clutter like I did in my last build, which I love, by the way. It's like one of my favorites. But um, I did, I did go and incorporate a little bit of chaos here and there, which you'll see uh, as we progress through through the build. So um, the living area right with the kitchen is probably one of my favorites. It, I de I've never really created a kitchen quite like the one that I'm about to. Um, and I wasn't sure if it was going to work, if it was going to, uh, you know, kind of come together as it did in my head. Um, but it does. It, lo it looks really, 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 really amazing. And again, I'm not too familiar with what 1970s interior looks like. I just know that there is like a lot of patterns. There's a lot of like cr craziness. Like it literally looks like you are <laughs> um, tripping a hard okay off of some chings and uh it literally is like a fun house so i did incorporate a lot of patterns like a lot of like wallpaper patterns i don't typically use um and even though i may have not nailed it i really like the way that this house turned out like i am in love so um anyways later in the build we definitely will talk about my personal life and then in case that's what you're here for okay um about like how my date went <clears throat> and things like that see every freaking time 
But I just wanted to tell you before we do like dive into my personal life, um, me sharing that with you is like me sitting down with one of my best friends. Like I only have one best friend. So you guys are like my other best friends. And, you know, being really raw and vulnerable with you. Um, so the only thing that I ask is for you not to pass judgment because I'm telling you pieces of the story, but I'm not telling you the whole damn story. And that is because my life, you guys, you know so much about it already. We've been here for years now like almost 10 years um and we've gone through a lot together and so even though you know so much of my life you don't know all of my life and it's really easy to just like assume okay keyword assume things and i'm just asking very nicely for you not to do that okay but if you do do what you got to do at the end of the day what uh sammy said about sally says more about sammy than it does sally something like that something with the s's i don't know but anyway um we'll get into it in just a moment but i really wanted to show off this kitchen isn't it weird it's weird it is so weird like what in the freaking hell <laughs> on a uh you know tuesday morning at 2 a.m yeah, made me do that i don't know maybe it was the vodka maybe it was the red bull i'm just kidding no, I'm not. Yes, I am. Shh, girl, tell him too much. But no, seriously, I was definitely uh, feeling like a little reckless. And I love it. I love this kitchen, especially when I go in there and I clutter it up. Oh, my God. Yes. Like, there's just something so weird about it that I love it. I, I cannot wait to play in this house. And so another thing, too, that was kind of fun was like incorporating this paneling. Um, my uh, my grandparents rest their souls um they lived in a 1970s inspired well not inspired but it was like literally built in 1970s like a trailer and i remember this paneling like i remember the back of my hand it was the ugliest most atrocious thing ever um but there was something very like i don't know if this is the right word but very like <laughs> um i can't even say the word <laughs> it's so embarrassing i'm like it's it's that one right there i don't know it's like smart knowledgeable like uh, intelligent i don't know there's a word for it it ain't coming out right no duh but it's just very um something very something yeah that's the word oh my god that's gonna bug me until the end of the freaking voice over it was just super smart i don't know intelligent god i can't stop okay anyways so yeah, i really love the wood paneling i don't get to use it enough and i just love the way that it kind of like it tied the whole um the whole downstairs together and again this definitely reminds me of like something you would have seen in the sims 3 like i'm not even kidding um this reminds me of a sims 3 build if i'm being honest i don't know what it is but like it's i think it's the patterns and like the really weird colors and all that kind of thing like it's just it's so random it literally looks like somebody just like fought it out like freaking you know plaid it's just like <laughs> you know just like somebody had too much chipotle i don't know but it, it, there's a lot of browns so many browns you know i never knew how many browns it was but anyway uh the garage is kind of interesting too because um, I threw a lot of odds and ends in there. Um, I made it look like my garage pretty much in a nutshell, except I have a car in there. But other than that, um, it just looks like a home. You know, it looks like a house. And I can't wait to see uh, what family lives here. I didn't create a family. I could. I could. Um, but I haven't. And once we get to the, the the children's bedrooms, maybe I'll be able to like elaborate what I envisioned a little bit more. Um, but I'm going to just tell you guys really quick about my date. So in case you guys didn't know, um, Juan and I ended our 14 year relationship months ago, way before you guys found out. And I know it's like news to a lot of people and people's like first instinct is to reach out and be like, hey, I'm so sorry. Like things will get better. Blah, blah, blah. Like it's not blah, blah, blah. I know I say that, but it's like I don't actually mean blah, 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 obviously. Um, but it's fine. Like everything's fine. Like, as I've said, you know, I went through my, my, my moment. Um, I handled it as best as I could, uh, while I was working, which was really rough. I mean, I went through so much, you guys. I mean, there are a few people who know, um, and then there's the vast majority who don't. And let me tell you, what I went through and what I've been going through, it, it, it isn't easy. It's not for the faint of heart and I wouldn't wish it on anybody. But at the end of the day, like, I think this, I think like, I think like this, like it's, it's everything happens for a freaking reason. Um, and just because you, you love somebody, it doesn't mean like you have to stay with them or, you know, there's, there's a whole quote that I posted on Twitter, basically in a nutshell, like your emotions are meant to be felt. They're not meant to dictate your life. Um, and I just felt like my relationship was just not the best for me and and it was mutual it was nobody's to blame it's just we grew apart and that happens like i met him when i was 17 years old like the fuck like we, we go and grow apart sis um and then that's the thing like you grow apart you come back together you grow apart and you come back together it's just this time we didn't come back together 
Um, so anyways, we decided that it would be for the best interest of the kids and ourselves, our sanity to, you know, just kind of split and, and really focus on being the best of parents and being the best that we can be as individuals, right? And so that we can come together and raise our children to be even better than we were. Um, and so there's that. So anyway, I've processed it. I'm good. I'm actually really happy too. That's the thing. So many people are like, oh my God, I feel so bad or I'm so sorry. And like, you know, they, they feel so sympathetic towards the situation and it's like, but it doesn't have to be like that. You know, if you, if you, if you do it with the right mindset, you know, you know, like separate or whatever, like there's so much more possibility, like life moves forward. <laughs> you know what I mean? And I don't know if that's just because I'm, I'm trying to think positive or think different, but genuinely, you guys, I'm good. I'm good. And, and the best part is that I get to be upfront and authentic about my feelings with you guys, uh, because for a while I felt like I was keeping this under wraps, which obviously I had every right to, but I'm so close to you guys that I feel like you pick up on my energy and you know when Jen ain't right. Like, you know when something is up her butt, you know, and like some people will call me out and like not in a bad way or anything, but uh, they just noticed and I was like, all right, you know what? Like, <laughs> okay, guys, like it is time. And so eventually I told you on Twitter, not here. Now you guys know. Um, so anyway, I recently went on a date with uh, somebody I met in high school. Um, he was 15. I was 16 at the time. I met him before I was pregnant with Dom. And uh, we were supposed to we were supposed to get together. We were supposed to, um, you know, we were supposed to see what could have been. And it never happened. Um, and then this whole entire time we haven't talked, we saw each other once when we were like 22, but we it was like with friends, you know, like that type of a thing. It wasn't like just him and I, obviously. Um, but basically the last time I talked to him was like 10 years ago. And so I had been 14 years at this point and I reached out to him and asked him if he would like to catch up over dinner for the first time. And we talked for like five hours and we talked about everything. We talked about how, um, it was kind of heartbreaking that I had gotten pregnant and you guys don't know everything about my pregnancy with Dominic. Like it isn't what it seems. Let me just put it like that. And I might tell you guys publicly at some But also point. there's a really strong possibility that I won't. It doesn't really matter. What matters is, is him and I had history. We were supposed to end up together. Um, but you know, life chose a different path and that's okay because I don't regret it even though these last 14 years have been full of ups and downs and life-changing experiences I still don't regret what happened it's just crazy though because you can go literally 14 years without seeing somebody and then meet them again and it's like you never missed a bit like or you never skipped a beat like you never you never like you know like it's just you pick up where you left off type of a thing and it was so freaking weird so eerie um and so you know we wanted to go on another date and so we went to the movies and that was really cool too like I, I mean it's gotta be mad weird for me because I haven't you know done any of these things I've, it's just been one person for 14 years and so to be able to like have these experiences with somebody else it's just such a freaking foreign bizarre feeling um but the cool thing about being around him is it doesn't feel like it's bizarre and foreign if that makes sense like it could be and it is but he makes me comfortable and he knows my 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 kids well he doesn't know them but he knows dom actually um and he knows of Crixis. But like he's super cool with them and I don't know. I don't really want to get into it too much just in case he's listening and he's like, what you, what you, what you going to say about me, shish? But no, like, not, nothing bad, obviously, but like I don't know how comfortable he is me putting his business out there, even though you guys don't know who he is. But anyway, our second date went amazing for everybody who was asking. We had a really good time. Um, we had like habit burger which is a like washington i don't know if it's just washington but it's like a it's basically like it tastes like shake shack but in washington and it's absolutely delicious except for the like except for the fart <laughs> except for the part where my stomach started cramping and i was going to explode like the blueberry girl in a charlie wonka's freaking chocolate factory i was so embarrassed it wasn't even funny and you know when i say this but i don't thought i pass gas so that one is for you Boo, but seriously like I was literally going to shit my pants and like honestly 14 years and you shit your pants on the second date like girl you really moving fast but yeah I almost crapped my pants I almost did I'm not gonna lie like it happened okay like I've been trying to eat healthy and then all of a sudden I eat one of these burgers and it's like 
you know i'm sounding like freaking a 1970s mustang like it's just not cute dude so yeah that happened but other than that the movie was actually pretty good i really liked it um i, I couldn't stop fantasizing about that egg sandwich uh in case you guys didn't know we saw birds of prey um but if you're wondering is there gonna be a third date <laughs> <laughs> follow my instagram no i'm just kidding but no seriously though like uh yeah <laughs> yeah 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 no but seriously though i'm like so excited it's so stupid anyway okay so we're back to the build okay this is when the views start dropping off don't play i might see something else who, who knows but anyway uh we got two rooms upstairs these are the kids rooms um originally i was going to do like a little a little nursery moment um but <laughs> i decided to go ahead and make it for a toddler just because i really don't feel like we have enough uh, mer uh nursery things um and i just i really wanted to play off this wallpaper i used this wallpaper i do believe in my last build too i don't know what it is but there's just something beautiful and so tacky about it that i just I, i'm i'm I'm, obs I'm obsessed um also i've been really loving all of like the clutter items on the gallery and just having those to my disposal makes like decorating a house so much faster and it also makes it feel a little more like um personal because i have more things to choose from so we're wrapping up the toddler's room i really love the pretty pink and the dark wood and how it ties in so gorgeously with that wallpaper and even the atrocious pink carpet that's another thing did you guys notice that I literally used nothing but carpet in this build. Ugh! So when I was looking through all of these uh, 1970s homes, everybody had carpet. Everybody in the mother brother, they, they had carpet. They, they had probably things in that carpet from 1960. That carpet looked like it had seen things and it was holding secrets, okay? Like it was dirty, it was grungy. And I didn't want to go that route. So I just kind of went with the carpet because again, not something I typically would use. Everything in this house, no matter how freaking ugly it is, it's on purpose. I wanted it to be ugly, but I also wanted it to be charming, okay? Not everything, um, you know, that glitters is gold or, you know, not everything needs to be freaking purple pansies and yellow unicorns. You know what I mean? Like, it's, it, it can be ugly sometimes. This room, though, for the uh, teenager is what I'm going for. Maybe, like, teenager almost going into college is kind of what I was feeling. Um, and so, obviously, like, the parents, like, really held, held out for that second kid because th she's so much younger than... I think brother this is what I think I think brother lives here they have like one of each you know they really wanted two kids um they wanted a boy and a girl and uh so once they had that they were completely done but I feel like I feel like this particular I feel his energy through the room it's crazy like I, I feel like he's really into music he's super into studying he really wants to go to college um he's very ambitious but also he does have a little bit of a lazy streak and I feel like his parents probably get on him a lot for that because his clothes are literally all over the freaking floor um but he's very meticulous about again like his his books and um his his studies like he's He's, he's more focused on that than putting his uh, tidy whities in the hamper for mom and dad. You feel me? So even though his room is a little bit of a, a clusterfuck, if you uh, don't mind me saying, um, it looks good. I like it. I love his room. And I'm adding little vents in here because why the freaking hell not at this point? We have a little foosball table upstairs. We've got a uh, dad's nasty little workshop downstairs. We've got this little hallway thingamajigger that I turned into an office. Hey, getting creative there. And uh, here's my kitchen. Oh, it's the diamond of the house. I love this kitchen so much. I just hope it's functional because i'm the real freaking pissed off and the couch like i don't know it's just it's so ugly the whole thing it's just it's it's really it's really dated um so if you wanted of course you could come in here and really you know juice it up a little bit and uh, upgrade it make it more modern um but if you did decide to do that like i want to see it okay so you can uh, show me <laughs> on twitter um my twitter link is hey urban or no it's x urban sims x oh god what is it i don't know that's my instagram handle anyway it's my, my social should be in the yeah, description down below but i also went and added in these little hanging mugs from some lissy oh i love that and i added in a little painting over the coffee pot do you see how it just like sits right there on that ledge it's perfect um again i didn't want to clutter things out too 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 much but i definitely wanted this house to look like a home i wanted it to look lived in because i don't care who the hell you are you can be martha damn stewart okay you know you got some mess here and there everywhere all right so um i wanted to just throw it in there make it a little more personal um and I, like i said i just i feel like getting these debug items just makes things like so snippety snap fast oh also the home is pet friendly particularly for like a dog i don't know what kind of dog um but i just i feel like a dog lives here maybe a big one a big old 
I don't know, lab or something. I, I really don't know. But I feel like I feel like that that that's the that's the energy that exists. And also, I don't know if you saw it, but I downsized the robe. Oh my god, it's so cute. I don't know. I just envisioned that like that might be the little girl's robe or something, you know, next to dad's robe. Maybe she's a daddy's girl. I don't know. I just really freaking like this house. And I feel like the family that lives in here is probably like a hot mess. <laughs> I really do. I feel like they're probably like at each other's throats every single day. Um, but when night falls, they're all gathering in the uh, living room, talking about their day, talking about their future plans, and reconnecting as the amazing family that they are and as you guys can tell um the uh bathroom upstairs is a hot mess now i know the tub might be facing the wrong way and it's probably not functional so like i'll play test this maybe <laughs> and then i'll fix it but you know it was like yeah, it was two o'clock in the morning uh i was feeling real feisty i wanted to do this build because i just couldn't i just i couldn't stop um and uh yeah so basically we're almost done with the interior um i know it's kind of annoying to go back to my library and grab all these colored items and i would have cut these things out but like Maybe it's interesting to see which sets I'm getting because you can just pause the video and see which ones I'm using. So that way you guys can see where they're coming from. Um, but if you literally just look up clutter uh, in the gallery and search by room, you'll find so many clutter sets. And again, some Lissy has some really good ones that you guys might want to use. Um, and the last thing that we're doing is just landscaping. So where I put the lot, as you guys can see, um, I'm centering it now. So it actually shows up in the image for the icon. But I like it a little bit more to the left so that the driveway matches up with the driveway that actually goes into the street. But, you know, for this particular purpose, I centered things. Um, and I just wanted to keep landscaping. Landscape, is landscaping kind of super chill very clean very minimalistic because the last build that I did I literally landscaped to the gods and I loved it I did I really did but again this isn't what that house was about so I just wanted to create like a nice little backyard space I was thinking of adding a pool um maybe if you guys wanted to you could do that a little bit later again financially that really like ups the price on the actual lot itself so I decided to kind of keep it a little a little chill for you and then I'm like <laughs> going to town with the bush I don't know what's going on these bushes are just like just surrounding the inside a lot and I'm just like okay this looks really stupid so I decided to put in some birch trees which are my favorite tree do you guys have a favorite tree in the sim 4 or am I like the weirdest one ever I don't know I really like these trees there's something just so pretty about them and they're like vibrant and I don't know they're tall I really like tall tall is just nice I don't know I'm short so you know I kind of have a thing for tall tall people I don't know anyway um so yeah we're adding a couple plants here so that you can get your garden on uh adding in some lights so that you can see and uh if I couldn't be more obvious uh we're getting to the end of the build so anyways guys I'm gonna go ahead and wrap this up here if you are interested in downloading this bad boy off the gallery you can go ahead and do so at gen 2606 and if you liked my little mini backstory on my life don't forget to go ahead and give this video a big fat thumbs up I will be sure to share more with you as time progresses and upcoming speed build so make sure if that is something that you are looking forward to that you stay up to date with those and uh yeah don't forget to go ahead and comment rate, and subscribe let me know what you guys think in the comments down below where the sun does not shine and i will see you all next time bye guys we're taking our shot bring what you got we're going all the way to the top we will hear the sound of one million people screaming our names when we're backstage we'll play loud surfing the crowd Everybody's jumping around Yeah, that's the place where I wanna be Going on stage headline on a Saturday night Oh, 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 oh Saturday night Oh, 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 oh I'm gonna quit my job Never wanna have no boss I just wanna play my rock and roll Like they do on the radio Got brand new drums And I still have my old guitar And John said this next song's gonna be real good If you know what I mean Round and round the world we'll go Putting on the greatest show So make sure that you don't miss out Just be there We're taking our shot Bring what you got We're going all the way to the top We will hear the sound of one million people Screaming our names when we're back we're playing loud, surfing the crowd.